Hello, it's Sarah, My Serenity Crafts. I'm trying to upload some videos of things I've made now that I'm on YouTube to give you guys an idea. I'm kind of into everything. I've done a little bit of everything. Um, I've had a very crafty life. Um, this is a Tim Holtz configurations tray. Um, they were on clearance at Michael's a while back, so I still have another one waiting to go. But I had been watching a lot of um, YouTube about, you know, configuration trays and um, three-dimensional things, home decor and things like that, and Lovely Scrappin', definitely one of my inspirations, um, Ms. Liberty 25 as well. Um, this is kind of elaborate for me. I don't, I didn't have a lot of stuff. I really tried to collect a bit before I did this um, project and I think it turned out pretty well. It's it there's a lot going on. Um but it's it's kind of cute. Um pretty happy with it. I definitely love metal. I love mixed media. Um I love using a little bit of everything. I did a little like here this is a punched butterfly. I hope you can see it. I think I'll move the camera. So like, you know, I put flowers, just whatever I had. I love this little, I think I got that at Hobby Lobby. And, you know, like this one, I have friends in there. A little lock. That one has a little bird's nest. Definitely bugs. I like bugs and birds. The dragonfly. They definitely show how they dangle things off. Like Lovely Scrappin' will have a chain going from here to there, all around, dangling off um, her lace things that she put. Oh, this was a cool thing I did. I liked how this turned out. This is just one of those, I think, I forget the brand name. Oh, Michael sells these, these little corner pieces. And it has a, it had a little loop, oops, <laughs> a little loop there. So I hung a bird, a bird's nest. You know, and then this was cool. I think I got this idea from Lovely Scrappin' too. This fence. And I actually, I think she made hers out of like um, coffee stirs. And I um, found this already um, made at Michael's in white and everything. So I just went and bought it and cut a piece out. And um, the paper... Um, is the Secret Garden by uh, Graphic 45. So I kind of went with a garden theme for the whole piece. Um, you know, there's locks and keys and things, but it's a secret, so you want to lock it up. Um, this is a cool little uh, charm. It's just a fairy, and I cut the I cut the bales off. There's a fairy up here too. Whoops, you can't see what I'm doing. I'm very new to this videoing stuff, so I'm trying to figure it all out. I don't know. I hope I don't make people sick because it's, I know people get nauseous from the, so I'll zoom back out a little bit and try to just get the whole thing in in that way. I play it safe. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to show that, you know, whatever you have in your stash, don't be afraid. Just go ahead and throw some stuff. I mean, I, I went with a garden theme. That's pretty much all I did to keep, you know, I mean, I, I fussy cut some, some of the paper and put it in a frame and these little fairies I put behind a, um, like one of those, I don't know what they call those. It's like a globe. It's flat on one side and round on the other. Um, some bugs, put them in, and some little trims and things that I'd had from Michael's. A lot of these are just like in the dollar bin sometimes. I mean, some of it I did. Finally, I found a Hobby Lobby around here, so I went there and got a few little fancier stuff. But for the most part, there's a little bit of bling in here, some pearls. Um, so whatever you have, flowers, and they're not any fancy brand of flowers. I think these are recollections. Um, maybe some of them are... Um, no, I think these are recollections. Oh, this is probably Prima because R.A. Seymour does sell Prima. Um, so, yeah, so this is a printer's tray. These are big. This is like 12, definitely 12 by like 16, 13, 14, maybe 14 or 15, but it's pretty big. So, um, the, Tim Holtz has several sizes of these, it, much, much smaller ones. I, can't, I don't have one to show you right at the second, but I have one somewhere around here. Um, so anyway, and then, like, I used those little eye 
eye screws and I just screwed it right because this is just made out of um, like cardboard and I cover I mod podged all the paper onto it but then like I screwed these eye screws onto that and then hung some chain down to make a little dangly thing um, you know but you'll get lots of inspiration from YouTube there's tons of pe crafty people out there that think of such cool stuff that I don't think of because I'm a copycat I like to, to see what they do and kind of then twist it into my own little way of doing it so I hope you guys can get some inspiration from this and thanks for watching.